Hello, Namaskar, welcome. Analysis of variance. And now we are with a case or problem of one way classification. And this time we are going to solve the problem without coding the data. The figures of production in quintals of three varieties of wheat. A, B and C on 12 plots of land. Yes. On 12 different plots of land, three varieties of wheat, the crop of three varieties of wheat, A, B and C was taken and these are the statistics, numbers in quintals of production of these three varieties of wheat. Yeah. Variety A was shown on three plots, B on four plots and C on five plots. So the sample sizes are say not equal. The data is very much sensitive, F-test is very much sensitive about the assumption of the samples derived from normal population. Yeah, um, first of all, what is independent variable? Varieties of wit. Varieties of wit, that is independent variable. Okay, and dependent variable is production of wit. We ignore the type of land. If they are, say, the crop is taken on different kinds of land, we ignore that point. So there is only one dependent variable production and only one independent variable that is variety of wit. These three populations are of three different varieties of wit. We want to know that is there any significant difference in the mean production of these three kinds of varieties of Wit, okay. As we have discussed the steps, the first is sum of all values. Sum of all values and it is very easy to get first the sum of all the samples. We have sigma x1 48, sigma x2 64 and sigma x3 92. The size of sample first n1 is 3, n2 is 4, n3 is 5. Okay. So, summation of all these three totals will be t and that is 204. Second step is sum of squares of all the levels that means sum of squares of all these the grand total we have not found because we are not going to use any separate sign for this grand total so i am going to complete this step while calculating sst but we have all the squared values and sample wise summation so this is not square of this sigma x1 this is summation of squared values of all the sample units, all the members of the samples. Mind the difference between these two, because most of the students I have shown in the examination say getting confused about these two steps. Okay. Number three is calculating correction factor for which we need capital N. Capital N is nothing. 12 plots, that is our capital N. Or you can find out Adding the sample sizes of all the samples, 3 plus 4 plus 5, capital N is 12, that is number of plots, total number of units under analysis, okay. Now we can calculate the correction factor, T square upon N, T square, 204, square means 204 into 204, divided by capital N 12, 204 divided by 12 will be 17, and 17 into 200, 3400, 17 into 4, 68, so it comes to 3468. This is our correction factor that we need to calculate these two things, SST and SSC. So now we have square values, we have sample wise summations, so we are in a position to calculate these two. Let's calculate. SST that is sigma x1 square plus sigma x2 square plus sigma x3 square minus t square upon n. Summation of these three 776 plus 1074 plus 1702 yes minus this 3468. We already calculated the correction factor 3468. And summation of these three is uh, 3552, but let me confirm. 
SSC that is 16.8 then error 
S E. It is 67.2. Now it is turn off degrees of freedom. For this degrees of freedom is K minus 1 number of columns 3 minus 1 that is 2 and for this it is N minus K that is 12 minus 3 9 and its grand total should be N minus 1 11 yes it is 2 plus 9 11 N minus 1 12 minus 1 is 11 so both these are correct. Total of these two must be obviously SST and it is because we already calculated SST on the basis of SST and SSC. Now mean squares MSC that is SSC divided by K minus 1 and that is 16.8 divided by 2 so it is 8.4 MSE will be SSE divided by N minus K the degrees of freedom that will be 67.2 divided by 9 so MSE comes to 7.47 yes 7.47 so now we can calculate F ratio F ratio is MSC divided by MSE that is 8.4 divided by 7.47 so calculated value of F comes to 1.12 This was the calculation part. Now we can move forward for testing of hypothesis. Yes, because to get the critical value, we should have degrees of freedom. And degrees of freedom can be available from this column. So, the order of the procedure of testing of hypothesis is somewhat different in case of ANOVA. Now from null hypothesis to conclusion, let's go for that part and for that purpose I have to say well, is all these things. Yeah, what is now like what this is? What is now like what this is? There is no significant difference in the production of wit of three varieties. A, B and C. Then we can say that HO is mu1 equals to mu2 equals to mu3. Okay, what is alternative hypothesis? What is alternative hypothesis? least two means are different or you can say that there is a significant difference in the production of at least two varieties of wheat there is a significant difference in the production or mean production of at least two varieties of wheat HA will be mu1 is not equal to mu2 is not equal to mu3 but I 
advise not to write the hypothesis in this way because the sorry alternative hypothesis the real meaning is either mu1 is not equal to mu2 or mu2 is not equal to mu3 or mu3 is not equal to mu1 or all the three are different or mu1 is not equal to mu2 or is not equal to mu3 any of these three rather four is our alternative hypothesis okay now before comparing we should have critical value for critical value we should have degrees of freedom which now we have degrees of freedom of numerator 9 and denominator 2 on the basis of these two critical value from the table comes to 4.26 I have already done my rough work but let me confirm the thing there should be no discrepancy when I am going to publish this sorry I forgot to write the level of significance yes level of significance since in the question paper also in this question the examiner had not given the level of significance I have taken it as 5% alpha 0, 0.0 5 and we are considering this as one tailed test what is the thing critical value comes to 4.26 according to my rough work but let me check it 9 and 2 yes it is 4.26 critical value of f yes uh, table of f distribution is to be used first column will be of second degree of freedom second degrees of freedom and so in the first column you have to find 9 and then in the column of 2 second column the intersection of 9 and 2 yes this is degrees of freedom number 2 and degree of freedom number 1 4.26 is as the point of intersection of 9 and 2 ok now it is time of comparison and F calculated F critical F calculated is 1.12 F critical is 4.26 that means the calculated F ratio is less than the critical value when the calculated value of test statistic is less than critical value the null hypothesis is accepted and we can conclude that there is no significant difference between the mean production or production of three varieties of wheat more or less the average production of all the three varieties are same that can be our practical conclusion of this particular problem yes it is quite lengthy see we have already used the shortcut or easiest possible way of finding the F ratio that is also this much longer I hope this lecture will be useful to you in understanding the say statistical procedure of one way classification of ANOVA if you like this lecture please click the like button and if you have not say subscribe my channel please subscribe Prashant Puar P R A S H N T P U W L. That's it. Thank you.